Hi everyone, I thought it would be really fun today to colour in a cake. But, so I've picked this one. Now this is actually the inside cover of 30 Days of Creativity. So it's quite a small cake. I think this cake does appear on the cake page. Just taking a look. Um, no, it doesn't appear on that page. So I don't know, maybe it's one Johanna's just made up for the cover. But I decided to have a go at something from the cover. So as I've said before, I don't want to overlap with what Johanna's doing. Um, because we want to colour along with Johanna. So uh, I thought I'd just pick something from the cover. And this repeats on the cover, so even if she does this, there'll be other ones to do. Um, normally on these repeating patterns, I colour them all the same, but I think this time I might do each one a little bit different. I think it might be fun. Anyway, cake. So I've got my Black Widow pencils today. Now this is the spider set, for those of you who've got them. I've picked them because we need really fine pencils. Again, this is a really small picture, so we need fine pencils, but I think we can still have fun. So this is the Stink Bug colour, which I just love the names of the Black Widows. Now, this book, um, I've undone the um, French flap, although you can't see that bit, and I'm leaning on another book because my desk isn't very even and it's not doesn't cushion. So, because uh, it's wood, it has got a, a leather top, but it's uh, it's not very thick, and it's quite an old desk. It's wearing the uh, top is wearing. So I thought this bit to me looked like it was just a bit of sponge cake. Can make it a little bit darker under this icing and uh, on each end. Gosh, my stomach's rumbling now. Just thinking about sponge cake. Might be a little bit dark for cake, but hey, I'm just going to do it, I don't mind. So that's our stink bug cake. Now the we've got two layers of icing, of course. We've got our drizzle icing and our normal icing. And I think they would be nice to sort of match-ish in flavour. So I'm thinking the top drizzle, I want to be chocolate. So I've got a good colour here. It's called um, Huntsman. Just checking if that's right. Yes, Huntsman is our darkest brown. So I'm just going to sharpen that one. So we're going a bit blurred because I've zoomed so far in to this little teeny cake. And I'm going to do this top layer in this very dark colour. Now I want this to be really intense. Now because this is cardboard cover, it's a little bit textured. Um, it may just need a few more layers. I'm just going over and over. I'm not thinking about shading for this particular bit I'm just going in really dark because I want to make it look shiny and when you temper chocolate it goes really shiny and that's what I want on the top of my cake some tempered chocolate I know a little bit about baking from watching Bake Off and actually my mum um, used to work in the bakery before I was born and uh, she's a very good baker she makes great cakes but um, I don't bake anymore. I used to when I was um, when the children were in primary school. Um, I was in the PTA, the Parent Teachers Association, where well, it was a PTFA because it included friends. And we used to have various cake sales and things. And I had to, well, I say had to. I started to bake for them because I became chairman of the PTA. I felt like I had to. Um, contribute and make some cakes. Sometimes I would buy them but I always felt that that was cheating or I would buy them and then ice them but uh, I was always a bit messy. So uh, anyway, I'm going to do a little bit more on the top here. I'm not worrying too much about my direction. I'm hoping that because it's a thick layer it will disappear. I'll leave it there and what I think I'll do is a lighter chocolate colour underneath as if that's the dark chocolate and this is the milk chocolate so I'm going to go for the tarantula which I actually thought was the darker brown but it's the lighter brown um, again I'm going to give it a sharpen we should do a sort of lighter brown chocolate underneath I am um, I do love my chocolate I've just had a piece actually before I uh, started recording this little batch of videos that I'm doing today I've had a busy day in the sense I've got so much done. It's been fantastic. Clock change, clocks changed um, this weekend and I'm still getting used to it. So I was awake really early 
So I was already up thinking about what I had to do and planning my day. Had a walk in the morning to the local supermarket as soon as the children got off to school and uh, got out in the sunshine, lovely autumn sunshine. It's a little bit red. I don't know if it's just me being a bit silly. If it really does. And uh, so I had a walk. I'd already done my accounts um, and uh, um, ch updated my website and, uh, and my link tree and my YouTube pages. So uh, that was really good. Yeah, I think that works. I am going to go back over with the Huntsman and do a, uh, another layer. I just really want that to look really thick. So uh, yeah, and then I came in and I got lots of work done. I got one video made in, and then my mum phoned me, that's right, and I did some ironing while I was on the phone and, and uh, a bit of cleaning up in the kitchen and then uh, got back to work, made a video and goodness, I was a busy girl. Now, we've got the decorations on the top of the cake. Now, they look a bit like we've got some meringues on there. Now, meringues um, are white normally. I don't want white because I'm going to leave this background white. There's a lot of background on this page. I'm not interested in colouring it, to be honest. It's too much hard work and too many little details to colour around. So we're going to make them this plum pudding colour, which I think, hopefully, will look a bit like raspberry and raspberry and chocolate. I think are good friends, as Jamie Oliver might say. So I'm doing a little bit darker on the edges and lighter in the middle, but I don't know if that's going to make it look a bit weird if it looks shiny. I might bring it in. It might look better if it's not shiny. Meringues aren't normally shiny. And I'm going to do this one the same. Now, those little um, lollipops, I'm going to do, or, do, I think everyone calls them lollipops, I'm just thinking. Does everyone call them lollipops? Hmm, not sure. Anyway, because I know sweets are called candies and lollies, depending on where you are. I think we all say lollipops. I don't know. Right, well, I think they need to be pink, but I'm going to take a different shade. I do love the names of these. I'm going to use the cyanide pink because obviously everybody wants a cyanide lolly. I do, don't you? <laughs> now, actually, it's too small. I am not going to colour each section a different colour. I am just going to cheat and do the whole thing pink. Now, we've got the little stick. Um, I think I might grab the grey because the grey is quite light and I think it might just help to distinguish it from the white background that's why it's called spider web because obviously we make our lolly sticks out of spider webs maybe if they're this thin we do I'm sure I'm nowhere near in the lines I've got a lot of debris there. I'm just going to brush it off okay now these are the bits I think are chocolate so we have this bit which looks like a bar of chocolate and these that look like chocolate sticks that's just to me so I'm going to use my Huntsman again which is my darkest brown for this bar of chocolate and I'm going to try and go around the edge in a really dark layer and then less as I go towards the middle of each piece difficult to do in such a small space I may find that I'll end up just going over it all in the same sort of um, well that's okay I'm not happy with that okay and then we'll go to the tarantula color which was our lighter chocolate and do these sticks chocolate sticks I need to lean really close but try and keep my head out from under the camera. There we go. So the last bit we have of this, we've got two bits to go actually. I'm going to do the 
the shine first. Just move my pencil shell out of the way. I'm going to use my very thin jelly roll. This is number five. So it's a very fine, just hit the tripod, point, which is what I need for this because it's very small. I'm just going to scribble it. There we go. And I'm going to do on these drizzly bits a little bit of shine. I want this to look really like sort of fondant or tempered chocolate. And do we do any at the top? Yeah, we'll do some on my body. So we'll just go around there and around there. Yeah. Now we've got the cake stand to do. I only did that first because I was liable to forget otherwise. Now I think we can do a pink cake stand because I think that will bring out the pink in the raspberry um, meringues. So I'm going to find that pink that I used, that was the, um, the plum pudding. Now be careful you don't smudge the white like I probably am prone to doing. And I'm going to do it quite thick and dark here. So you can see how different that is to there. I wanted that quite pale because meringues aren't dark, not the ones I see anyway. Although our local bakery does these enormous meringues, bigger than bigger than a jam donut, absolutely humongous. And they're marbled with color. They're absolutely beautiful. But I don't know whether they're flavored. Sometimes they're pink, sometimes they're green. And I don't know whether they're lime or, I've never gone in to ask, I don't buy cake. But, uh, so you can see that I've tried to leave a little gap to um, indicate some shine. I just realised we're a bit blurred because I'm in so closely. But there we go. <clears throat> There's our cake. Um, we have got, we haven't been that long, so I think I'm going to do this um, popsicle or ice lolly um, by the side. So we need to do the stick. And uh, I'm going to do it the same colour that I did for this sponge cake. I think it's a similar colour. So I'm going to use the um, stink bug to uh, just do the stick. I'm just going to do a gentle layer all over the stick and then I'm going to think about where it might be a little bit darker under here and maybe just on the edges just a tad. There we go. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, now I'm thinking frozen ice lolly is going to be a bit shiny, a little bit wet so we want to leave that shine I'm going to pick maybe just two colours to do it in. I think it'd be easier because I'm a bit lazy. Keep swapping colours. So I'm going to start with a pumpkin orange. I'm just picking really different colours to the cake, um, really. So this bottom layer I'm going to do in orange. So I'm going to start off with an intense dark layer here and fade it as we get towards the centre. Do the same here and fade it like that. Then I'm going to pick the next layer here, do the same thing, and fade it towards the middle. Now this has got a stripe going on, I'm going to ignore that stripe and put my pink right over the top of it, just because it's easier. Why not? Let's make it easy for ourselves, it's more fun. Sometimes I'm in the mood for a challenge, sometimes I'm not. Then we've got this one. Looks really like an orange flavoured frozen lolly, I think. And then a bit there. Now I'm going to put a green with that. Although I'm just looking at my colours, thinking do I have the right one? Yeah. I think this will do, just keep it sharpened. It's getting quite short as well. I think I've had my black windows for a while. Rather nice. I think the toxic green might be fun. So we've got lime and orange together. So we're going to put a harder layer here. It's probably not quite the right colour green, but hey. A tip, top tip, if your green is a bit too bluey, this one's quite blue, but I think we can get away with it. Put a bit of yellow on top. I think it's a Makes it look more olivey. 
I was doing that the other day on the picture actually in this book which I didn't record because it was a bit too intricate even more so than this it was the um, on the tips and intro page the board I was doing that there we go yeah oh that looks nice I could eat that except I really don't like ice lollies so I'm lying I wouldn't eat it at all but <laughs> <laughs> I hope it looks okay. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. But there we go. So there's our cake and our ice lolly. So I think we'll leave it there. I think we've had enough sweet treats, enough sugar today. So uh, we'll leave it there and uh, and uh, have a think about what to do for the next one. So thank you so much for watching and happy colouring. <laughs>